Hey, welcome back, friends. So today we're going to take a look at the Oliver Legacy Elite 2. This is going to be the rear twin model. A year ago, I wouldn't have been able to come to a dealer and do this video because they were direct to consumer. Well, I'm here at Southland RV near Atlanta, Georgia, and yeah, they're one of the very first dealers that Oliver has dealt with. So they started carrying these units back in December. They've only had them a few months. These are extraordinarily well-built trailers. I think you'll want to see it. Hope you stick around. All right, you guys know how we roll as you're seeing the lengths and weights of this unit. Uh, I'm just giving you a little overview of this little Oliver trailer. This is actually one of the biggest units they build, maybe the biggest. Uh, for an example, that's a two axle unit. Over here is a more traditional, I would call, Oliver. But yeah, this is gonna be a large, one of their larger units. And you can see, you've already seen weights and measures on it. We're gonna do the outside first, and then we'll go outside. Uh, inside, I'm sorry. So I'll start up here. I like how they do the little slide coupler thing here. You know, a lot of times you got the more traditional hitch. This is gonna be a slide coupler. If you're not sure how that works, this locks in and this sleeve slides over to lock yourself onto your ball. So I kinda of like that. You've got this, I would assume that this is generally meant for a generator. It has 150 pound weight capacity. Uh, obviously coolers would fit there as well. I, I like having it. It's better than not having it. And it's certainly functional. You guys know I'm a function over form guy. So that is great function. Got your electric tongue jack with your little leveler here on top. Now, there's going to be two 20 pound propane tanks in here. And before you, you know, this is here for access. So instead of having to take this whole fiberglass shell off, basically all you do to turn your propane on, you got a quarter turn and then you're in here with your propane tanks. You can see that right there. So easy access, great protection with easy access. Again, these are extraordinarily well-built trailers. You've got uh, my understanding, haven't been to the factory, but you got two-piece top, an interior and exterior fiberglass top, a two-piece bottom, interior and exterior, of course. And it's it's built more like a, uh, more like a boat. Uh, it's more of a marine type application, and you'll see that a lot more as we go inside. You can see little accent lights going on down there in the frame. We'll get to that in just a second. And she needs a bath. She needs a bath, but normally this would be a gleaming white unit. Now, there's a lot of extras on this Oliver. This is definitely built for boondocking, being off grid. You can see the solar up there. Um, uh, you'll see how many watts of solar are pumping through this thing on the screen. Let me, before we get to the undercarriage, while we're still on the solar. Lithium already included with your little Moride slide out. I like that. You've got three lithium batteries in there. So this is certainly built for some off-grid action. Obviously that's vented. Now this is definitely a marine type application here. This is your 30 amp. This is heavy stainless right here. I mean, this is, again, this is as far as quality is concerned, this is, Oliver's are gonna be next level for sure. Before we get into suspension, let's look a little under here. You've got your black tank flush right here. Again, you can see you like your undercarriage lights, kind of cool. You got your Goodyear Endurance tires. These are standard on the Olivers. And you've already got your Easy Flex from Dexter. You've already got your wet bolt kit, your heavy duty shackles. I love that they go ahead and, and include all of that with these trailers. And again, at this price point, they should. Stabilizers, now these are not levelers, even though they may look like levelers. These are not levelers, these are just stabilizers. I'll show you that in just a second. There's your Truma AC up there. Get some storage under here. Again, these are all stainless steel, marine type applications. Nice little, this is gonna be under bed storage. You're gonna need to access that under your, one of your twin beds right here. And you can see here is your rear jacks. So street side, you can see that right there. You can see that going to work. 
And again, that's only for stabilizing. You got your black drain pool, gray drain pool, got a little shower right here. Pretty cool. And as I'm closing these, these uh, storage compartments, I'm definitely thinking about our boat because that's the same latches as our boat. You've got your TV here hookup, you've got satellite hookup, and then you've got cable hookup there. And you can, I mean, quality here is, is unmatched. Now, interesting where they put the water hookups. You know, you don't see it down the line. They're right back here. I think this is pretty cool. So one of these is for your fresh tank fill, and I believe the other one over here is for city water. So I thought that was very interesting. You've got nice stainless steel accents here. Just a very well built unit. Big bumper back here, 150 pound, inch and a quarter receiver right there. You've got your big spare tire and that's how you access that. Nice big window, you can see your backup camera already included on this one. There's your TV antenna. Again, I think the water hookups are pretty cool where they place them. Now, tankless water heater, I have a love-hate with these, but the Trumas, which is included in Oliver trailers, people seem to love them. So there's different brands, there's different qualities out there. This one is a Truma brand, and people swear by them. People that have Truma tankless water heaters seem to really enjoy them. Nice overview. Custom built steps up in Tennessee. That's where these are built, if I haven't mentioned that yet. Nice little table out here. So that's what this is. I like that they include that. Nice little function. Full length awning, Gerard awning. Right there, you're seeing the awning length right now. And another thing I really like is they actually have another 30 amp option right here. So depending on where you're at in the campground, you know, some campgrounds can get a little awkward. You've got another option for your 30 amp up here in the front on the campsite. You've also got a, uh, an LP hookup right here to do some cooking, fire pit, whatever. Why don't we go inside? Okay, as we're going inside, you already have RV lock right here, keyless entry already installed. That's a narrow door, but for this size unit, that's very common, okay? As we go in, this is gonna be a couples style unit. Now you're gonna have an option of a third sleeping right here, but just to get a quick overview before we go in details, there's your twin setup in the back. All right, so you can get a, a quick overview before we start rocking and rolling. As you're here in the front, as you come, we just walked in, here's your fire extinguisher here to your right as you walk in. Here's some nice hanging storage. You've got some nice shelving right here. I love, I absolutely love that they've included this in this unit. If you know what this is, I know what it is. I'm gonna test you guys. If you know what this is, comment down in the comment section. If you don't have this in your RV, you should certainly investigate getting it. All right, this, is, uh, this stuff comes in real handy. We have it on our permanent unit up in the mountains, and yeah, I won't talk about it anymore. I wanna see who knows what that is. But you can see, got a little plumbing action right here, got hanging storage there. As we come in to the bathroom, this is a wet bath, all right? And the way that works, is you're like, where's the shower head? Well, just take this here and just move it right there. There's your shower head, so dual action, Dual purpose, use it as a sink or shower head. You can see when they do these wet baths, it's a tight bath, but they put the, the potty paper in a waterproof container there. You can also have a little uh, curtain right here if you needed to, or you could just sit there and maybe take a shower. But yeah, that's a common, common use of a uh, I'm trying to do this one-handed. It's difficult sometimes one-handed. No camera crew, guys. Homegrown. You know how we roll. Got your little mirror in there. Say hey to the GoPro. Now backlit storage. I like this little backlit storage here. 
that's cool. All of your shower goodies can go in there. Got a little towel rack here. You do have a tiny little fan, Max Air fan. And you've got, of course, your window here. So everything you need, everything you need is here. I think you can option for a composting toilet here too, if I'm not mistaken. Could be wrong about that. Double check me, as, ever, as always, double check me on everything. Nice little hooks here. Again, all of the storing, the storage is backlit. You can see that all the way around. You can see the lights, 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 lights. I think that's pretty cool. All of these stainless marine hardware. You can see the inside fiberglass there. This thing's solid as a rock, man. There is your fuse panel, control panel, all that fun stuff down there. Easy access there. What is this here? This looks like a yep, USB and USB-C right here. Very nice. Um, that's going to be your carbon monoxide detector. This is a nice solid. Uh, this is going to be like uh, fiberglass, but it looks like granite. So it looks good. It, it's very durable, but it's also lightweight. You can see MSRP on this unit, 111, 190. Obviously, talk to your dealer. Okay. Got your nice windows all around. This is I like how they do the windows here. You got the blackout, or you can do the screen, or you can do neither. And there's also a screen here, of course, a bug screen. Going down this side of the unit. Nice big storage in here with all their goodies you get when you, you buy an Oliver trailer. Here's some of your, this is your tank monitor here. Here's your Truma system right here. This looks like your solar system right here. You got your battery stuff going on, your solar stuff going on right here. Furion radio. This is your battery, oh, this is your battery monitor. So you'll have to correct me guys. Maybe this is your solar and then this is your battery. Maybe I'm wrong. Just give you a little tour. If you ever get serious, all this stuff's linked down below. I'll link Southland site and I'll link uh, Oliver, of course. I love all the stainless steel hardware. It really just, uh, I mean, you know, stuff's just never going to wear out. You should never have a problem. There's your drop down TV right there. Let me get an idea there. That's probably a 20 inch TV. What do we got here? I didn't even look in this drawer. Oh, nice big drawer storage there. With, of course, a lock for travel, just like that. Coming down here, access to that exterior storage that you had. Now, under these, these mattresses, there's only access, I think it's under this one. This panel accesses that underneath storage as well. You can see that. All the rest have goodies in them, you know, furnaces, etc. So especially over here as well, all of that's none of that storage under mattress. There's your big AC up top. More storage above your other twin bed. Coming around the other side. Zero wood in this, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that. There's zero wood in Oliver trailers, except for maybe this. Maybe I think that's probably the only wood in this trailer. Moving along here, decent amount of counter space for this size unit. Definitely enough for a coffee maker, etc. You've got all of your plug-ins are up here, so the back looks nice and clean. Plug-ins are up here. A couple of lights, fuck lights up there. The sink, decent size sink, 14 by 14 maybe. So on the smaller side, but not the smallest I've ever seen. Nice little hook for kitchen towels right there. You've got a two burner cooktop, which would be plenty for us, even with a family of four. We don't hardly ever use our cooktop. Drawers. Oh, here's some more wood, but it's it's okay in this situation. Nice soft closed drawers. Obviously the wood is extraordinarily minimal on these units. I shouldn't have said there's zero wood, but you know what I meant. You guys know what I meant. Nice big storage up here that opens up into the other compartment as well. 
Here's your microwave. I'm sure these are 12 volt fridges, I would imagine. Yeah, they're already a little cold and I'm off grid. Now turn you around and get a nice little view. Talk about well built. This is almost as, probably as good as it gets in some fashions. Okay, there you go, guys. Great little couple, couples camper. Very well built. Oliver Legacy 2. Yeah, first time in a long time and ever that you can buy these at a dealer. And they've got them here at Southland. So uh, check their dealer locator on Oliver's website. I will link that in the description box below. What do you think about this thing? And what do you think that was that I showed you in that main closet? when we first walked in. Let me know in the comments section. Guys, I hope you're doing great. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, well over 75,000 subscribers at this point. And as you all know, if you've been watching the channel, I'm making it a point all of 2024 to thank you guys for that. I really do appreciate it. Hope you're having safe travels. See ya.